Welcome to Accounting on Excel with Amaka Ifebunando. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at how to generate a simple report using the sum ifs function. Below, we have our report section where we'll be generating the report and we'll have our database. This is the database we'll be using to generate this report. We'll be working with the sum ifs function in doing that. So follow me closely as I input the formula. We'll start with the equal to. Whenever you want to input a formula, you use the equal to to let Excel know that this is the formula you want to input. So I've typed in my equal to, then I'm using the sum ifs. So the sum is, I'll just select this. All right, this is my sum range. But I'll make it absolute. Then my criteria range is this. I'll also make it absolute. Then I have my criteria, which is this. Then I close the bracket and enter. Good. Good to go. So it's internet subscription is 6,942. So all I'll do is to use the auto fill and fill downwards. My auto fill handle appears when this cross sign. This is the auto fill. The, the cross sign is the auto fill. Then I just uh, drag down. Good. So this is wow wow this is our report our report is ready so the internet subscription we have is 6942 our travel expense 24,000. communication so continuously there you can even check the accuracy sum this and you see the total 199.013 you can sum this and you see the same total so you know that every data has been captured in your report and the, the good thing is that any adjustment you make, it will be reflected. So we know our internet subscription is 6,942. Let me come to this internet subscription and make it 1,205. And you will see the effect immediately. All right, you can see it has immediately changed to 7,042. So that is how the sum is function help you to automate your reports. And there you go. I believe this has added value to you. If it has, please share with others that it will be of great benefit too. And also click the subscribe button on the YouTube channel you're watching right away. Subscribe so that you can get more value tip from this channel. Thanks and hope to see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.